Hey guys, it's me again with another video review. Um, and this time it's going to be on Generation 1 Mini Thrust. Um, as you can see, he is just like the original version except just mini. Um, I'll start with his box first. Uh, background's getting messed up. Okay, um, his box here that shows the thrust box art, his name, and the window. On the back it shows the Decepticons, his box art again, a bio and stats right there, made by King's Toys. Um, there he is again. Just keep the box as a background. Um, <clears throat> so I'll just move these missiles in the fifth. Get with jet mode. Um, so here he is. In a VTOL jet. From like Halo 3, you know the Hornets? They're like. Yeah. Um, very easy to transform. First, start with the landing gear, pull it out. Um, then you get these missile launchers, which you want to be careful with because they're really sensitive. Uh, take it out from each wing. Uh, to make it easier, you just want to take the wings out, put them on the put them on the table for a little. Um, so it's the same exact transformation, except just a smaller one. So you just bend those cone down. Uh, same thing. Just there's a gotta push the arms out. Uh, so once they're out, you wanna. Then that part, push it in through the hole, and flip the head up, and then flip the feet down. As you can see, I didn't really apply the stickers because stickers would just cause sticker wear and stuff. So there's the basic body. Um, suggest attaching the fists first. So same thing. Attach them on. To the right hand. Okay, so. There's his fist. Back to the wings. Some people prefer to put the wings uh, like this. Just show you really quick. Yeah, some people prefer to put them under. I mean, behind this tail fin. But the way I do it, um, I do it the other way around, which those parts point up. Yeah, so they point up like that. And then you just get the missile and missile launchers and just attach it to his arm. And again, same thing. In the hole, very sensitive. I'm trying not to push the the launcher button because I might lose the missile. And so here's Mini Thrust in his uh, robot mode. He also came with these two tiny missiles, but um, I don't want to lose them, so I just keep them in the box. And his, since his cockpit really is loose. I don't really keep the landing gear in there either. Um, so here he is. You can uh, you can bend it down to make him look like a regular seeker, um, but he's a cone head. Just leave that up. Yeah. Nothing much to say about him. He just doesn't have the stickers. Usually he'd have a Two Decepticon symbols on his wings and one behind his head. Um, he also came with the factory stickers too, but you have to apply those. But King's Toys, it's even made of die cast. So, there you go. This is a G1 Mini Thrust review. Hope you enjoyed.